Alright guys, so first of all, I just want to say that I am sorry the audio was not working for me in the beginning of this video. I have no idea why. Sometimes things mess up. I uh, don't know why. It's just this technical problems happen. So anyways, so welcome to some ranked, or not some ranked, my first Injustice tutorial uh, for, you know, basic training. Uh... There's going to be a basic, intermediate, advanced, etc. And this is going to be the very basics if you're new to the fighting genre or new to this game or anything like that. So, first off, uh, you can it's a 1v1 game. And uh, each player, their objective to win the game is to deplete the other player's life bar by doing damage to each other using combos or just different variants of attacks. So, right now I'm going to pick Wonder Woman because she's my favorite character. And... Uh, I'm going to pick Deathstroke sooner or later here, but uh, also there's different stages in this game. Different stages do different things, and there are also different lengths, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, interactables are things that you can throw, pick up, run, uh, jump over, which I will get into in a minute here. But each stage is definitely different, and it definitely helps to choose a stage to win if you want to win there's power characters and this there's, there's gadget characters so I'll get that in uh, in a minute here gonna load up the game all right so here we are uh, as you can see there's my health up there uh, on the top left there is one uh, white bar uh, or silver and uh, then there's a red bar. You have to deplete the silver bar before you get to the red. And once you deplete the silver and then the red, then you win the game. Now, first I'm going to show you this motorcycle, which is an interactable. To use it, you click RB if you're using the default button layout. And it will throw the mo motorcycle, since I am uh, a power character. Because Wonder Woman has superhuman strength. Now, Deathstroke, on the other hand, is not a power character. He is a gadget character, so he'll either... Sometimes gadget characters put bombs on it. Sometimes they even... Um, they, they even jump. It just depends. Uh, Wonder Woman is a power character. Deathstroke does not have the type of power. He's more of a gadget type character. So if he gets on it, he'll rev up the motorcycle and run over her like that. You can hold it to charge it to stay on the vehicle. Uh, and then you run over here and it does damage. Um, as for uh, the middle part of the map, there is a uh, well, and you can kick people into there, and that also does damage. Most people use this uh, to go into combos, which I will show you a little bit later, and you could do it over and over again. Um, now for the final interactable, I'm going to go back to Wonder Woman. For the, for the final interactable... Um, Actually, I need to hmm. left. All right. Now, for a final interactable, there is a car over here for this for this type of area in this map. Uh, there is a car here for Wonder Woman since she has superhuman strength. She'll pick up the car and slam it on her opponent. This has almost a full screen length so you can do it but make sure you do not pick up an interactable when you um, can be hit easily because it will knock you out of interactable and you can easily be hit by a full combo now this car right here that it just threw is full screen meaning that well it's almost full screen meaning that if I if the car was over here where I am where Wonder Woman is and I threw it right here it would almost reach him just almost so basically it covers almost all the screen so it's pretty good interactable right there um here let me move him back a little bit to show you guys like he's pretty far away and that'll hit him almost full screen it's pretty good so now we're on to uh transitions so um Basically, every single map has different level transitions, except, I think, one or two. Uh, so, each map, uh, there's, like, another map within it, or one or two other maps. So, there's one 
an going to be another map soon here. And when you go through the interactable stage or whatever animation, it'll take you to another part of the map in this area. So here's a demonstration of it. So now we are on another map with a whole different setup of interactables and opportunities. Now here is a piano, um, which I can throw at him. Um, but as Deathstroke, uh, wait, there's a suit of armor over here, which you can pick up, a chair, which you can pick up here. And you can even pick up this, um, these lights right here and throw them on to him. Uh, for me, because I'm a power character, but now for a gadget character, let me switch to player two. For a gadget character, uh, I'm not sure what Deathstroke does with this piano. Wait a sec, I need to control her now to get her over here. Alright. Oh, Deathstroke throws it, okay, because the piano isn't extremely heavy. Yeah, okay, now the chandelier is heavy. So, um, basically some gadget characters won't, uh, each character is different. So he, uh, goes on to it, and everything is with RB. Like, a chair isn't that heavy. Um, only, like, cars and tro trucks or motorcycles or, uh other stuff like that see he swings on it other characters might put a bomb on it and let it explode on characters uh different characters do different types of things so um so here's wonder woman see she'll throw it at him and it does damage so uh this cannot be blocked meaning uh meaning that you can't block it like uh which means you can always take damage from it unless you know you dodge it like that um so basically blocking is when you hold back on the analog stick or the d-pad stick or whatever you're using so when you hold back it'll block for you but the con of this is is that you will walk backwards so uh to do that you can block you can hold it like basically south um southwest like uh diagonal downwards and that'll crouch you down and also will block for you and you won't move backwards but the only thing is if some attacks hit high which will be in the next video different types of uh attacks uh then they can't be blocked but this is pretty good i use this a lot um now what do we have next we have uh so, the basic fighting mechanics in this game, there is a light, a medium, and a hard kick. Here's the, uh, light, well, light, light, medium, and hard. Not always kicks or punches. Um, so here's a light attack. Here is the, whoops. One second, let me check something. Yeah, here's the medium attack. And here is the hard attack. Now, each move has, a uh, different types of speeds. The light attack obviously comes fast. Uh, this one comes a little slower, then the hard comes a little bit faster. Uh, now, light attack, if you're using the default um, button loadout layout again, is X, the medium attack is Y, and the hard attack is A. These each do different moves. Uh, you can also hold back or forward for different types of moves for hard and stuff. See, that's a back hard. This is a back light. And this is a back uh, heavy. So they each do different things. Um, so here is a basic combo that I'm going to show you. Whoop, that's not a basic combo. One second. There's a basic combo right there. Uh, I did medium heavy. Medium heavy pretty fast. And then I did one of my special moves. Each character has a special move. Um, well, not just one special move. They have a whole bunch of special moves. And here they are. See, this is down forward X, which I just did, which is a lasso grab. So you go down, go forward, and then click X. 
and you do it pretty fast not like down then forward do it like a smooth motion go down diagonal then forward for just a nice nice swing motion now each you have a whole bunch of power moves and you can easily memorize these like I don't even have to think so she this one she throws her tiara this one she goes into the air this one she flies at her opponent they have different special moves so basically I just did uh, medium hard then special move now each of these combos can be increased uh, s that you can do more damage the more skilled you are at this game here's uh, an advanced combo of that combo well I messed it up but one second there's an advanced combo now for the full combo once you get really good at your character or the game etc then you can do this Which will take some time. Which will take some time, guys, if you are new to this game or even fighting games in general. Um, now, clashing. I can't really do a clash here, but I uh, a actually I will show a clip. Um, so, that's that. Alright, so, welcome back. Well, uh, we're going to now do talk about uh, meter burns. Now, meter burns, uh, you can do different types of meter burns. Now, each of your special moves, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if all moves, no, not all moves have a special, uh, have meter burn versions. But, um, I don't think so. Not all. I'm not sure if that's, if I'm positive. Maybe all of them do. But, anyways, so each special move has, uh, a uh, meter burn version. So this is a lasso grab that I showed you in the combo before. Um, now if you click RT during the combo it will be perform a meter burn version of it which will do extra damage and it will do a different uh, animation for it. So you do lasso grab and then RT and it does that. Now you see the stars after I do that. This is only Wonder Woman based. Only Wonder Woman can do those stars things, which are with her super uh, thing. So let's read what it says with our special move. We go lasso grab, meter burn. It says pressing RT during a su successful lasso grab will perform additional damage, but will also increase Wonder Woman's damage output and debuff her opponent's damage for a short time. So it is quite the good meter burn. Uh, now. This one right here, where she throws her tiara, uh, you could also meter burn it, and it'll come back to you. And it'll stutter the opponent so they can't do moves for a short period of time, which can go into an easy combo, like so. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have traits. Now, each character has different types of traits. Now, Wonder Woman's, for instance, she goes from a lasso stance to a shield and sword stance. So, in this shield of sword stance, she has totally different, a totally different move set. She can do a whole bunch of variety of moves here that she can in sword stance. Um, that's her grab right there. Every character has a different grab. They both they all do the same amount of damage if I'm not mistaken 11% and it can be done by pressing LB if you're using standard button layout or default uh, it's pretty good but it's not that far of a range like see you have to be pretty close and it's you're basically your last resource so what I was saying about traits uh, now let's take Deathstroke's trait for example hers goes into a totally different move set. Um, now Deathstrokes for example he can press it and let's see what that does. I'm not positive. I think I do know but I'm not positive. Deathstroke enters a more focused relaxed state allowing all of his gunshots to become unblockable for a time. Now unblockable means that what I said before is they cannot block it at all unless they jump it or dodge it. After his focus state has expired, Deathstroke is unable to concentrate and no all gunshot attacks. One sec.
I'm so sorry about that, guys. I uh, got interrupted with something. But, anyways, it says after his focus state has expired, Deathstroke is unable to concentrate on all his gunshots. The attack will automatically miss the opponent. So, it's a good and bad uh, thing. So, see how that all missed? Because after my uh, trait, but now after a while, they'll still hit, but they're not unblockable. So, when I go like that and hit, unblockable. But now, he misses like crazy. So, that's his trait. Um, what you're seeing here is one of his special moves. He can shoot his guns, and he can also shoot his uh, machine gun right here. Rocket launcher. So, that's a death joke for you. Um, now, we're into uh, walking. Now, wait, let me change characters right here. Walking is... Uh, your not your main way of getting around the map, I would say, but it can be. So this is you just hold forward or backwards. Now it is quite slow, so which is a bad thing about it. That's why dashing is mo a more reliable source. So back dashing is where you click back or forward twice on your analog stick or D-pad. You get around the map so much quicker. Back dashing usually takes a little bit longer. Forward dashing is quite fast, and you can dodge some things from it. Um, so let's say Deathstroke is about to do an attack, and I back dash. He misses the attack, and I might have a free attack from a distance. So uh, that's basically that. Uh, jumping. Jumping is quite a good resource in this game. Uh, some players have anti-air attacks. Anti-air attacks, which is when you can, the enemy can use an attack to get you out of the air when you're in the air, to you know, so you don't jump as much. Uh, once you jump, you can do a light, medium, or heavy attack while in the air. So here's a light. Here's a, a medium. If I can hit him, and here's the hard. Um. So yeah, some types of characters have air dashes, usually if they have flight modes or some type of thing. Like Deathstroke, he has no flight mode capabilities, so he can't air dash. Now, Wonder Woman can. She can... Now, how to air dash with some characters, um, I will put on the screen, or not put on the screen, I'll show you guys, um, who has air dashes. Um, so basically, you just want to jump in the air with, with only air dash characters, jump in the air, then... Uh, the same thing with dashing, uh, two times forward or backwards when you're when you're in the air. Now the forward jump and backwards jump is just diagonal upwards, is pretty much, and then you can go backwards, forward, whatever you guys want to do. Um, you just can't go up or down dash. You can never do that. Um, what are we at? This is almost over. Um, so move list. Here's your move list. It'll give you a standard set of combo attacks. Um, these are pretty good. So uh, let's just try some of these. Click Y to bring some of them up. So here's Entrapment, XX. There's somewhat of a combo. Here's XXY. That finishes basically that combo. Ends of the Earth. Demigod. And then there's Gods, Gods and Mortals. Which finishes the uh, the demigod combo, warrior princess, and then destiny calling. Those are just some combos. Now I do not know why they call them those names. I think they just make it up. But that's about that. Uh, oh yeah. Now each character has a unique power move. Now these are pretty sick looking. Oh yeah. About meters, you always have four bars of meters. When you use a meter. One meter will go away, and you can't use that meter again. It only recharges because um, I have it on training mode, so it sets to recharge. But, um, so yeah, you only have four bars of meter, and once you do that, you have no bars of meter. Or, you only, you have one less. So, a power move, or, uh, ultimate, whatever you want to call it, takes four bars of meter, and with the standard default, um, Standard default button lo layout, loadout, whatever. Uh, it's LT and RT at the same time. And you go into an awesomely sick animation. Which will lead into uh, 
uh, power attack and or uh, ultimate, whatever you guys want to call it. So here's a demonstration of it. So that is Wonder Woman's special, or power move, special move, ultimate, whatever you guys want to call it. Now I will show you guys one more, and that will be Deathstrokes. Now his is my favorite of all the characters' special moves. It is pretty cool looking. Here's his. Here's the demonstration. Alright, so that's Deathstroke's uh, super move. Now, these all do damage. They do quite a bit of damage. Um, so, that's a base, pretty much it. I think I covered everything about this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Uh, but I want, before you guys go, I want to show you guys who has air dashes. Um, Because I did not get to that. Let's see. Um, Flash does not. Nightwing does not. Batman does not. Cyborg does not. Uh, Green Arrow does not. Superman does. Martian Manhunter does. Raven does not. Aquaman does not. Wonder Woman does. Zatanna doesn't. Zatanna or whatever. Hawkgirl. I don't think she does. Does she? No, I don't think she does. Shazam doesn't. Green Lantern doesn't. Batgirl doesn't. Sinestro doesn't. See, it's very limited. Uh... Black Adam does, uh, Bane doesn't, uh, Doomsday does not, Killer Frost does, which is quite interesting, it's weird, uh, Ares does not, Scorpion does not, Zod does not, Lex Luthor does not, Catwoman does not, Deathstroke does not, Solomon Grundy does not, Harley Quinn does not, Joker does not, and Lobo do not all have flying, uh, air dashes. So, they're ba definitely limited, and it's a very good resource, and I'll show you guys that in part two of how you can, uh, equip air dashes into, uh, your gameplay. They are a very good mechanic in this game, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, I'll put it in part two. Uh, hopefully you guys all did enjoy this, uh, series. I actually had kind of fun recording this, so hopefully you guys do come back for part two. That'll, there'll also be an intermediate, an advanced, and a master tutorial, so, on this game, so, uh, and tips or whatever. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, give it a like and also comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and comment on any suggestions you guys have. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Dragon Warrior and hopefully I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.